So starting off with the Juvia's Place palette, the Saharan palette, I am taking this orange shade and I'm just packing it. First starting off by packing it on my lid. Today I am going to show you guys how to cut crease like a pro and I'm just packing that shade on first and then I'm blending it upwards and outwards forming that shape, that cut crease shape already and then just blending it out really good. I did a poll on my Instagram asking you guys if you wanted to see a halo eye or cut crease tutorial next and it was a tie but the cut crease are winning the majority of the time so I decided to do this tutorial first. Also, I really love Juvia's Place palette. The shadows are very blendable and pigmented. Also, they are pretty affordable. So, Juvia's Place, if you see this, get your girl up. I love y'all's product. I am going to start speeding this up, but I just want to show you guys that I really am building that color, color up. Packing it on and really just blending it. So, take your time, build the color up, and blend it out. Now I'm taking the ColourPop Concealer. I really love this concealer for outlining my brows and cutting the crease. I feel like it's perfect. I'm using a flat brush and as you can see I'm just starting off by following my natural eye shape. I have hooded eyes and I also have small eyes. So um, usually I do have to go a little bit above my natural eye shape. You're going to see that a little later. But first I am just following my natural eye shape. And make sure you have a flat brush to do this. And I'm also pulling my eye outwards. I just feel like it helps me to see and get a full glimpse of what my cut crease is looking like. And I also... Fill in the cut crease as I go. I feel like that as well helps me get a good look of what the shape is going to be. So as I get towards the end of my eye, I kind of make like a little dip. And so you're just going to start following your natural eye shape. Make a little dip, kind of go downwards and then bring it back up and outwards as I'm doing. I hope that that makes sense. And I just want to say ignore the cleanage on my nose. I did not want to film because I got a pencil like right smack down in the middle of America. And but I decided to film anyway, so now I'm just I can't stop feeling it. And here is where I am going to bring my cut crease a little higher up just because I do have hidden eyes, so when I do cut creases. I normally do take them just a little bit higher than my natural cut crease just so when I open my eyes you are still able to see the full cut crease and here it is, it is coming into place. I love cut creases. They are just so satisfying but don't get discouraged if you don't get it right the first or second time. You just have to keep practicing. Cut creases they are pretty hard and I had to start over on my other eye because I just didn't like how it turned out. So you just gotta keep practicing and then you'll definitely get the hang of it. I just think cut creases are like a mood. It's just a statement. It's like, hello, I'm here, cut crease queen. And here I am just setting that concealer. Even when you're doing a cut crease, you always have to set any concealer just so it's not creasing. And then I'm taking another shade from the Juvia's Place palette and I am packing it on. And as you can see, it wasn't really giving me that much life. So what I did was added the Fenty Beauty highlighter on top of it to really give me that shimmery gold champagne shade that I wanted. And I'm taking the Fenty Beauty highlighter and I can't remember if this is, I forgot the name, honestly, but I will link it down below. Another pro tip that I forgot to mention earlier was anytime you're doing any shimmer, anytime I'm doing any shimmer or eyeshadow, and even with my um, highlight, I always spray. Before I put on highlighter, I do get a um, some type of spray, like a setting spray. Just to wet my face and that way the highlight will show up so much more pigmented and when using a 
shimmer eyeshadow that will also make the eyeshadow be so much more pigmented some good setting sprays would be like max fix plus spray mario badesco i like milani's um face spray also covergirl has a face spray and here i'm just highlighting my nose the inner corner of my eyes i highlighted my brow bones already and i did bronze a little bit And taking that same shade on my lid and just smoking down my lower lash line. And then I'm taking the NYX eyeliner and I'm just putting that on my lower lash line. And then I'm taking the Kali Cosmetics, a Kali Cosmetics blush. And I'm just putting on a little blush. And also I have this lip kit set. And I could not decide what lip color I was going to use. Comment below what lip color you would have wore. I decided to go with the middle one. It was called One Wish or One Angel or something like that. I will link it down below. It is a matte liquid lipstick, but like it doesn't, it's very comfortable. It doesn't dry your lips out. I am obsessed with this formula. I know it sounds kind of cliche, but I really feel like I had Kylie Jenner's lips. My older sister Jess got me all this Kylie Cosmetics for Christmas. So when you see this, hey girl. And this really completed the look. I did add a gloss to it, but I really hope you guys learned how to cut crease. And I will see you guys in my next video.